How are y'all are, guys? How is everyone doing? Happy World Cup season. I hope you had fun watching the warm-up matches today. Oh, wait, you didn't? Why didn't you have fun watching the warm-up matches? Is it because they were canceled? Because of rain? Yes, it is starting to dawn on me that this could be a very, very big problem going forward for the rest of this tournament because, as you know, I live in the United States. I live on the East Coast uh, in Washington, D.C. area, and there's been some crazy rain, some unexpected rain. We have an expression in the United States. April showers bring May flowers. Showers meaning like rain showers. And then May, you have all the pretty flowers. Well, this year it's like exact opposite. <clears throat> it's like April flowers bring May showers and a ton of showers. <clears throat> I'm gonna have a shower in my throat right here. I don't even know what that means. Well, I, I started saying something and I'm like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. Shower in my throat? What am I talking about? Anyway, focus, 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 Joey. Blah. There's been an unusual amount of rain where I live. It's been raining like every single weekend, it seems like, and it just doesn't stop. And so you see that all over the East Coast of the United States. Um, and you're definitely seeing it in Texas. Texas has some crazy weather, y'all. <clears throat> I don't know why I said y'all, like I'm not from the South. Texas has some crazy weather, you guys. So, and and that worries me because it seems like it's not going to stop. Once it starts, it doesn't stop in Texas. It doesn't stop where, where I live. So that's like, what happens if all these games get rained out? Like, what are they going to do? It seems like they don't make up games or they just turn it into some stupid like T10 games. And I don't want no T10 games, especially when you have a team like Australia and their shenanigans. You know what I'm talking about, Australian fans. You know your shenanigans damn well, okay? Don't act like you don't have shenanigans okay you have shenanigans okay my mouse is all messed up i'm gonna have to restart my computer but before i do that i'm just gonna record this video because what the heck what the hey okay by the way i'm using fahrenheit because why would i use something that makes perfect absolute sense like the metric system that's for like that's lame bro okay why use the number zero for freezing when we could use a random number like 32. Riddle me this, Batman. Riddle me this. And just so you know, I just got halfway done and I didn't want to change it. 90 degrees is like really hot. 80 degrees is like chilling. Okay, it's pretty good. 70 degrees is like perfect. 60 degrees is starting to get cold. Okay, those are the only degrees you're going to need to know. Okay, 90 muy caliente. Okay, let's go with this. First stadium we're going to start with is Arnos Vale. Um, and this one is in St. Vincent and the Grenadines right there. And uh, the games don't start until the 13th of June. Uh, so it's kind of hard to predict. But right now, looks like pretty good weather other than this passing thunderstorm in the morning. Oh, I'm just a thunderstorm passing by. Don't mind me. And um, I feel bad for South Africa and, and, you know, all those countries having to travel from like New York all the way down here. It just seems like a pain in the ass. Okay. Next up, we have uh, Brian Lara uh, Cricket Academy. Um, in Trinidad and Tobago, um, Tr Trinidad and Tobago. Um, let's take a look. They don't have games until June 12th, 68. That's starting to get cold. Okay. A little bit cold, a little rain clouds here, some periods of rain kind of getting warm up in the 73 here. So Brian Lara in, uh, Trinidad and T Tobago looks good. Okay. So if you're in, if your games in Trinidad and Tobago, you're in the clear, bro. Oh you have that West Indies, New Zealand. And that's going to be a great match. Cloudy is perfect, you know? Okay, next up we have um, Central Broward County Park in Broward County, Florida, Lauderhill, Lauderhill, Florida, basically in the uh, in the uh, Caribbean, you know, that's like U United States Caribbean right there. I really want to travel this area so bad, so bad. Whenever I fly to Colombia, I like fly over right here. I fly over like Cuba. And then there's like this little space right here in the end of Jamaica. I always see it. Like I always wonder, I always want to go there. Anyway, so we're in Lauderhill, Florida, and it looks... Now, Florida is super sketchy, bro. Florida is like super sketch, okay? It's like super sketch. I don't know why I'm talking like a teenage girl, but like Florida can get funky fast, okay? It can get funky fresh fast, but it looks good. It's 93 degrees, which is like super, it's hella hot. On the 15th, you have a thunderstorm possibility. And that, other than that, that's it. So you have stray thunderstorm. Like, oh, come back here, thunderstorm. Oh, oh, get that thunderstorm here. It's a stray thunderstorm, please. 
Okay, so Florida looks actually pretty good. Next, we have Darren Sam Sammy Stadium in uh, St. Lucia, San Lucia. Okay, St. Lucia. Um, and this looks, yeah, somewhat good, somewhat bad. And again, these games are that I'm posting right here to start are like far away. So a lot of stuff can change. But you have on the 16th, a possible thunderstorm. Rut row. Uh, Scotland's going to beat up on Australia. Hopefully that's a good day for that. And then you have uh, Grand Prairie Stadium in Grand Prairie, Texas, which is basically Dallas, Texas. Um, oh, yeah. <clears throat> Home of the Major League Cricket, baby. You got the heart where I live right there. Oh, there's a heart right there. I didn't put that there. They did that. Now you know where uh, I live, so you can stalk me. Okay, Grand Prairie. This is this is like kind of scary. Uh, here you have the first of June, uh, United States of America versus uh, Canada or Ca Canada. Times of sun and clouds with a thunderstorm and spots humid. Uh, so yeah, that could be a little bit sketchy right there. I'm just saying it could be a little bit sketchy here and it's really hot. Other than that, it's going to be pretty good, but it's, it's really hot, hot, hot. Oh yeah. And I, I was going to put this here. Oh, that did not work out. But like the day before and the like two days before there's going to be a ton of like heavy thunderstorms. That looks like crap right there. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm too lazy to change it, but you have a ton of flooding, a ton of, let me just see if I could put that right right there grand prairie i'm just gonna share this tab instead yeah you have a ton of uh of uh warnings right now obviously the game was canceled uh look at that doesn't look too good right there so yeah a lot of thunderstorm action coming in here so um yeah take a look for that <clears throat> take a look for that what does that even mean okay Next up, we have Guyana National Stadium or Providence Stadium. And um, yeah, this is where uh, Hasaranga got his four wickets against South Africa. Good times, good memories right there in Guyana. Um, Guyana. Okay, here is uh, Sketchtastic. Okay, this is Sketchtacular. I just made up a word. Okay, Sketchtacular. You take Sketchy and you take uh, Spectacular and you can combine them. It's Sketchtacular. That's super, super sketchy, bro. Okay, why is this super, super sketchy? Because look, on the 2nd of June, mostly cloudy with, with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm. And then you have a couple of morning showers and a thunderstorm. Uh, June 5th, you have mostly cloudy with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm. Okay. It just doesn't seem like it, it, it doesn't relent. So that worries me. I really, really want to see Uganda play really bad. Okay. That's my team, baby. That's my team and Papua New Guinea. So if I don't get to see some Papua New Guinea, Uganda action, I'm going to be pissed off. I'm going to be pretty pissed off and you're not gonna like me when i'm angry okay next up kensington oval yes kensington oval and this is in barbados barbados right i hope i'm right i should have written that down barbados yeah kensington oval really good stadium man i really want to go here um june 2nd a thunderstorm in spots in the morning otherwise mostly cloudy june 4th widely separated widely separated morning thunderstorms uh, I'm not sure how to do a Barbados accent. I will learn that and I will come back with one. Okay, next up we have um, Nassau County Stadium. This is my stadium, baby. And this these are the most uh, warm-up games. There's eight warm-up games. I couldn't even fit it on one page here. And if you just look at this, this is not meant to have a big-ass stadium here. Like, I know that kind of looks big and that looks big, but this is just a regular residential area, kind of. And then they build a big, big-ass stadium there. How would you like it? And this is this is obviously why I'm going there because it's close to my heart. It looks like Bermuda's close, but it's really not. Okay, let's see. June third, times of clouds, times of sun. Uh, June fifth, so that looks good. June fifth, times of clouds and sun. Uh oh. June seventh, this game I am going to. Canada versus Ireland. Overcast, a shower in spots in the morning. Then afternoon thunderstorms. What this is good because that game's being played in the morning. June eighth, clouds and breaks of sun, humid with couples of showers. Cool. Let's go to June 9th. Sunshine and patchy clouds. Not bad. You know, pretty decent weather. You could tell this is in New York because it's a little bit colder than the rest of the places. 
All right, I will take it. And I think this is last but not least, Sir Vivian Richards. Sir Vivian Richards Stadium. And this is in um, Antigua, right? Anguilla. Antigua and Barbuda. Antigua and Barbuda. Okay, June 9th, good. June 11th, got some thunderstorms. June 13th, got some thunderstorm action in there. And then June 15th, a thunderstorm on the prowl. Look at that. A thunderstorm on the prowl in the morning. Look out on the prowl. There's a thunderstorm. Watch out. Yes. So there you have it. What do you guys think about the weather? I mean, I don't know if this video is fun to watch or not, you know, talking about weather. Maybe I could have a future career as a weatherman. Who knows? Who knows? Or a specific, a cricket weatherman, you know, that'd be kind of cool. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Like and subscribe. Go check out the Discord. It's going to make everything better. And I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you guys. All right. Click off the video now.